Hi, welcome back for another guitar lesson. Today's guitar lesson is going to be Havana by Camila Cabello. This is a really nice song to play. It's only three chords, and you can, you know, solo in G minor. That's where the melody is. And it's really fun to play. It's just a, a nice, great pop song. It's great for beginners or just to play out live. Um, so let's get right into it. It's going to be just three chords, G minor, E flat, and then D7. I'll teach you the chords the, uh, this way. Then I'll teach you another way that's right underneath your fingers if you're just playing by yourself. Or if you just want to mix them, you know, one for the chorus that's a little bit bigger. And then for the verses, you can just play here. So let's go over this way first. This is no inversions. This way we're going to use one or two inversions. But they're very simple. So let's start with that G minor bar chord. We're going to lay our first finger across the third fret. And then we're going to make an E minor shape with our ring finger and then our pinky. That's going to be on the fifth fret and that our ring finger is going to be on the A string. And then our pinky is going to be on the D string. And that's it. So third finger across, ring finger on A string, fifth fret, pinky on D string, fifth fret, and then you strum all of them. For the rhythm of this song, I just hit the low E, which is the G note, and then I just strum down. You can strum up too but make sure you have that low note in there separately. That's what I hear on the recording anyway, something like that. Our next chord is just an E flat major bar chord. It's an A bar chord, so that means you're kind of making an A shape. This was an E shape bar chord because you're making an E shape. So you're going to bar your pointer finger across the lower five strings. So you don't need that low E. So you're just starting on A, D, G, B, E. Barring across those, and that's going to be at the sixth fret. And then at the eighth fret, you're laying your finger across the D string. And this is going to be your ring finger, so pointer finger here on 6th fret, and then ring finger here on 8th fret, and then your ring finger is going to be laid across the lower 4 strings. And if you don't get that high E in there, here mine's a little rough, that's okay. The main ones you want are the A string, the D string, and then that G string. All of them sound nice, but if you get those in there, you're doing good. And then finally, we have a D7. So this is a bar chord. You know, you're just playing a D major bar chord up here at the 10th fret. But you're just taking off your pinky to make it that 7th. Yeah, that's pretty solid. And then this has that 7th sound to it. Once the resolve back to G minor. So let's go over how to play that. Again, you're just barring at the 10th fret with your pointer finger. And then you're taking your ring finger. And then you're playing the 12th fret A string. And then you're taking your middle finger, you're playing the 11th fret G string. And those are the three chords. And you can play that song just like that.
rhythm that I do on G minor, I just hit the lower string, strum down, take a beat. And then I go to the E flat, hit the root note, and then strum up. Down. Up. And then D7, strum that a couple times. You can hear that with the melody. That's the Havana Luna. He took me back to East Atlanta, na na na. Half of my heart is in Havana, ooh, nah, nah. And that's about it. That is not in my key, but I hope you get the idea. Okay, and the other way that I would play it um, are using two inversions, or maybe one inversion, because we might play that open D7. Sounds more like the song, but if you're singing, that sounds very good, too. So I play with my thumb over so I can get to this inversion quicker. And this is just your E flat, still just G minor, E flat, and then I played a D inversion. You can play regular D, or D7 is what the song calls for. solo right there and your hands not moving a lot you don't have to worry about missing chords so I will show you the way that I play it um, but just for um, covering all the bases you can use that G minor bar chord just like this I just have to play it with my thumb over with my pinky off it's just how I play those minor chords with my thumb over so if you wrap your thumb over this is kind of like a Jimi Hendrix chord. That's why I leave my thumb off so I can just do little hammer-ons and pull-offs right there. Um, so thumb over, that's going to be fretting your root note. That's your G. The A string is muted. You don't need it. That's just playing your fifth. You're playing another fifth down here with the rest of these notes. And then you got your octave. So again, that's thumb over, fretting, the third fret of the low E. And then you're taking your ring finger and then you're fretting the fifth fret of the D string, which those are just two G notes, an octave apart. And then you're barring on the third fret on the third fret, excuse me, the G string, the B string, and the E string. You're just kind of just like a, if you take an F, make an F minor, move that up, and then just uh, wrapping your thumb around to get that low note. And let's go to that inversion. So what's nice is, the only thing that's changing is you're putting down your middle finger on the fourth fret of the B string, and that's it. Your ring finger staying the same, and so is your pointer finger. So that's this is for E flat, so G minor, E flat. So that's ring finger. 5th fret of the D string, middle finger, 4th fret of the B string, and then you're just barring with your pointer finger or across G, B, and E. And that's just another way to play an E flat. And that, you can move that all over. Up one would just be E. Right? So if this is E flat, one down would be D. And you can play that in the song instead of the D7, or you can go to the, this open D7, which is one of the first open chords that you should learn how to play, but I'll show you how to play right now. So you're just putting your pointer finger on the first fret of the B string. You're taking your middle finger, putting on the second fret of the G string, and then on the second fret on the high E, you're playing your ring finger.
and then you're strumming from the D string, which is the third string down, all the way down. Now I like that because then the E minor is right here and you can solo. And you're just soloing in G minor pentatonic. And that's how I would play Havana. I see a lot of um, lessons just with acoustic guitars and capos, and that's a great way to play it, but if you don't have a capo or you're just on electric and you want a solo, I think this is the way to play it. And I would probably combine both ways. For the intro and the chorus, because that's a nice thick sound, or if you're accompanying somebody. And then if you're playing by yourself, you can do this for the intro and chorus. And then for the verses, you can just... And that's really it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope you play this song live. It's really a great pop song. And I will see you next time. All right, bye.